In this webcast, we're going to differentiate between free body diagram and kinetic diagram, their combined use in engineering dynamics with example, and then afterwards, we're going to define kinematic diagram. I think we all have a pretty much good idea about what is free body diagram from our statics. The new thing that we're going to use in dynamics combined with the free body diagram is called kinetic diagram. So just for a refresh, free body diagram is a symbolic representation of a particle body or connection or connected bodies where we free the surrounding of that particle body or connected bodies and we show the force moment reaction force along with their direction on the on the body and we call it a free body diagram where the kinetic diagram is just the motion caused by those all the force moment reaction force we talked about the kinetic diagram just show the motions of 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 the body so now let us see a combined example of free body diagram and kinetic diagram. In statics, we had summation of force equals to zero, so this part was zero. So, for example, if we take a particle for a free body diagram, we would just show all the force acting on that particle, for example, F1, F2, and F3. Since in statics, the summation of force equals to zero, we, did not we would not have any kinetic diagram, but in dynamics, summation of forces are unbalanced and summation of force equals to ma so we also we need a um, kinetic diagram that will show the motion caused by all these f1 f2 and f3 forces so simply while the free body diagrams help us to understand the forces acting on a body while the kinetic diagram helps us to understand the motion caused by or resultant by the force on the body so here in, in this example, the forces uh, F1, F2, and F3 caused um, the particle to move or gain some acceleration. So we'll show the kinetic diagram. Um, so this diagram would be equals to the kinetic diagram MA. So the particle is moving on the right side uh, with acceleration A. So here is an, another example of, um, where from your planar rigid body motion where you have a plane here so if I would like to draw a free body diagram I would just draw the reaction force at B um, and B and then we'll have a reaction force at NA if we have two tires on at point B so it'll be 2 NB and our kinetic diagram would be this just the acceleration in X direction since um, the plane is not having a rotation or um, acceleration in y direction so I will just have ma so this diagrams helps us in dynamics to uh, realize how can we uh, apply equations in uh, planar rigid body motion here is another example for uh, this um, plate here uh, is pinned at point a so it can rotate about this point since there is no other force acting on the body, if we draw the free body diagram here, we will have a reaction in y direction and a reaction in x direction. And only weight uh, forces acting is the weight at the mass center G, would it be downward. So we understand that this force is going to cause this plate to rotate in clockwise direction. So if we use our... Uh, a moment equation for planar rigid body motion mo moment about any point z would be equals to the kinetic moment of z so this way free body diagram and kinetic diagram helps us to understand the scenario so um, I will have at point z I will have a normal component of the acceleration so normal component always towards the center of rotation which is at, at the pinpoint a so our normal component will go towards the point A and tangential component is always perpendicular to the normal component. So I write um, the tangential component perpendicular to normal. And since it is having a rotational acceleration, so I would put the kinetic um, moment is IZ alpha about point A. Since uh, we're taking the moment at Z, so components a and, and at goes through point z so it will be 
so a kinetic moment would be only the iz alpha now the last part is the kinematic diagram which is not wisely widely used in dynamics but if you use machine design or mechanism design then you'll be uh, getting to use this kinematic diagram more so what kinematic diagram is the connectivity shows the connectivity of links and joints without showing the dimension or the shapes so if i have a simple mechanism here which uh, which is sliding this way and then this is rotating that way so what a kinematic diagram would be just a simple representation of the links and joints connectivity so i just draw this c here which is rotating this moving this direction and i replace cb with this link and b a with this link so without showing any um dimension of the rod thickness and uh no shape just by uh, lines so these are this is called kinematic diagram to understand uh, the connectivity of links and joints. See you in the next video. Thank you.